everybody welcome back to the shop so today i'm gonna work on a little cnc project um for a build that i'm working on and just kind of do some prototype type stuff um with the new cnc so it's a fairly simple little project but um still working on trying to get final fitment but i thought i'd kind of walk you through the process of what we're doing is we're going to, we've got high baseboards going on this project. Um, so I think we got like six or six and a half inch baseboards. And the architect specced out that we're going to put all the outlets um, within the baseboard. So they're gonna be horizontally uh, mounted rather than a normal vertical. And then we're gonna inset them so that when we're done, the outlet will be flush with the base and they're going to paint it over um, and then we'll go from there. So that's what we're going to work on today. So this is my little prototype. Um, so I've got just some plywood right now and I've got some just some pine uh, head laying around. Um, so we're going to build the cover and then we're also going to do an out uh, a cutout in the base will go on like this, but we'll do a cutout for this. So, um, the, what we started out the way I started out with is I actually um, called my the electrician on the project. And I said, "How are you going to put? What kind of boxes are you going to put those in there?" And he said, "We're going to." And he gave me one of these uh, little metal electrical boxes. Uh, I just put an outlet in there, and then started taking some measurements on that, on the height, the width, and everything, and then laid that out on vcar pro and then i was able to get those to fit in there like that this is this is this part was pretty simple uh pretty easy it's a um one one uh bit you can use either a three eighths or a quarter inch bit on that and uh, just set that up now what i did do is on all of the stuff and i'm kind of massaging the stuff because i'm learning doing learning two things i'm learning vcard pro which is the software that i'm using um and then i'm new to the cnc so i'm trying to learning on both ends here um but so i set up everything so everything's referenced off the center line or the center point of the outlet so when we do get to the job site if so if this is a piece of baseboard we'll just lay it onto the cnc We'll put a center point where we want it. So if we decide that we want to be up two and a half inches off the bottom or two and inches off the top, doesn't really matter. And approximately end to end where we want it, we'll just put a, uh, a mark in that center and then we'll line up the, uh, put that board onto the CNC on site while we're trimming and cut it out. It's about a minute and a half cut out to do this. So it'll be really quick once we do get on site to do that um, and everything will be set up ahead of time. So I'll have all of my covers uh, made up and decide what kind of wood I want to make those out. I need to find out what kind of wood that we're going to be using. Um, all this will be paint grade. Uh, I'm assuming we'll probably use a uh, maple or a birch is my assumption, but we'll see once we get there uh, what everything gets specked out and, and what, what the availability is. So, so then we'll, I said, we'll lay that on top of there, um, run this pattern out, and um, it's actually two, two cuts. So we've got an outside pattern and an inside pattern, and we'll set that up, cut that out. That's the easy part. Um, so after I had that cut out and figured out what I wanted for depth, um, measuring off this box to the top of my outlet. Um, I only end up with about um, uh, uh, 3.33 inches, uh, a little over a quarter of an inch, not quite three eighths of an inch um, of meat that I can work with to make this. Um, so then I went ahead and, and milled up some stock, um, just ripped this in the, the bandsaw, got it sanded out to, I believe I went to, it was 0.3325 is, is as close as I, you know, what made most sense for this one. And then from there, then what I started doing is 
going off my cutout, getting my outside layout done here. So originally what I had done is I had laid out off of this. Um, and this was actually, the, the, I cut this one first and I cut it out of a, with a 3 8 inch bit. Um, I decided this round over, or this, this corner is a little bit bigger than I want. Um, so then from there I took that and then I started doing the cover and I can just lay that out. So this, an inside cut, outside cut, and I can start getting the, this in, the radius is in here. This is a, a, not quite where I want to finish at. So this is still kind of, to me, in a prototype style stage, but it gets me close enough where I'm pretty happy with uh, a little bit of tweaking, a couple of, you know, a couple more runs. Um, at this point, I want to get the um, finished product of whatever I'm going to put in for base so I know exactly what I'm working with um, for materials. Um, I get th this is just scrap out of the shop. This is just a piece of scrap plywood that I have. So I want to have whatever we're going to use before I finish uh, tweaking these out. So with the cover, there's a couple of things that need to be done is um, you can see where the outside is going to, this is going to reference on the inside cut of the base, but then I need to wrap it uh, and do a more cutout in here for this, and it doesn't leave me a lot of meat here on either end to do that, so that had to be thinned down a couple times. Um, the other thing is I've got to do a little, a little step up here um, in the center of the outlet um, in order for that to fit in there properly. Um, because part of what happens is, I don't know, it's going to be kind of hard to see. Um, with all of the buildup between the box and the outlet and the screw, I need to accommodate all for that. Um, so that's kind of that part of that recess. So I'll cut that recess out. But again, on the center, I want to keep this where the screw goes in so it reference flat onto my outlet. So when it goes in there. Um, so once I kind of had that established, I started measuring, um, how big the outlets are, um, through a couple of renditions, it was, it kept being a little bit too small. Um, and then I just slowly over a couple a uh, couple of renditions of this, um, uh, made it larger. Now this is actually probably larger than I actually want it. Um, so I want to get this, this reveal down and this reveal a little bit, uh, less, and then I've got to make sure my screw is the right size, and then do, I'll do a countersink on that. So, um, so yeah, so fairly simple little project. Um, I'll uh, um, but at the end of the day, we'll end up with a flush outlet on the baseboard, um, and I think it's going to be a nice. Um, finished look to the project, um, whether we can get some matching. Um, I don't know what color the, the trim is going to be. Hopefully we can get some type of a complementary color on the outlet, whether it's a dark, I don't know what the color is going to be. So we'll have to, f uh, find that out, but, um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So that was a quick little video on, um, Kind of just an overview on that. Um, I'm planning to do some more in-depth videos with the CNC. Um, just timing didn't get to where I wanted to this week. Um, I've been sick all week and other things going on. So I just didn't have the time that I wanted to go more in depth into the CNC itself. And um, I do plan on going into looking at some of the softwares that I'm using. I've got three different uh, new softwares that I'm trying to learn. Um, I'm working with Mosaic. Uh, VCarve Pro and Cabinet Planner. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one. There's another one that's uh, on cabinets. So I'm just trying to walk through the different ones. Um, so if I am doing cabinets, um, it would probably be out of Mosaic or out of this other program that I have um, trying. They've both got advantage. And I'll, I'll actually just go into that. I think I'm going to do a full video on just talking about those. Um, softwares and how at least they work for me um, your mileage may be different so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that 
got something out of it. If there's things you would like me to try on the CNC, I'm looking for ideas to um, kind of expand on what I can do with the CNC. Um, and I've got some stuff that I do want to try, but if you got some ideas, let me know. Happy to try to see if I can accommodate that and make something happen. Um, till next time, take care. Thanks.